take a drink with your friends and somebody says, yeah, we should go skydiving tomorrow. <laughs> and you go, yeah, we'll go skydiving tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. And you go, yeah. And everybody goes, yeah. So then that night you're laying in your bed and you just keep, <laughs> And you're terrified. You keep imagining over and over again jumping out of an airplane and you can't figure out why you would do that. You wake up the next day and you go, you know, down and you say where you were going to meet and everybody's there. So you get in the van and you're like, oh my God, oh my God. And your stomach is terrible. You can't eat and everything, but you don't want to be the only punk who doesn't jump out of this airplane. So you fly and you go up, you go up, you go up, you go up to 14,000 feet and somebody opens the door. And in that moment, you realize you've never been in a freaking airplane with the door open. And you're looking out down to death. And they say, on three. And they say, one, two. And he pushes you on two because people grab on three. And you go, and you fall out of the airplane, and in one second, you realize that it's the most blissful experience of your life. You're flying. There's zero fear. You realize that the point of maximum danger is the point of minimum fear. It's bliss. Why were you scared in your bed the night before? Why did you, what do you need that fear for? Everything up to the stepping out, there's actually no reason to be scared. It only just ruins your day. The best things in life on the other side of terror, on the other side of your maximum fear. Are